you have the desktop here and project new is the first step to give a name or the project. When we click save, the software asks me what is the equipment I'm using. In my case, I'm using Braid and Stator. And when I click here, you have this window here. As you can see, we have different kinds of uh, configuration of this rotor stator equipment with a blade, a, ro a stator, and a rotor, or blade, stator, rotor, and stator through the stages. Or when the rotor is not a blade, the internal one is like a similar configuration like the stator or a little different, but not a blade, two or three stages, or when the stator is inside and the rotor is outside. We have to this because for emulsification, that is a, a model we implemented here, this equipment is very common to use. But in our case, I will use blood blade and stator. When you click OK, you need to provide a minimum required data to start to work. So the fields that we will need to uh, provide is the uh, rotational speed. Let's say in our case, it's 2020 RPM. We have an equipment that is uh, 190 external diameter of the rotor, that it is this one, the blade, 191, the external, the internal of the stator, so the meaning of this, the distance between them is one millimeter, so the distance between the rotor and stator is half millimeter because it's taking both sides. And the external is 200 because we talk about the width of the stator. Click OK. We can now calculate what we want. We can click calculate and you can see we have power and flow, or shear stress characteristics, or a batch emulsification, continuous flow, the meaning of this, the homogenization when the rotor stator is used in a line and not into the tank, or batch emulsification for batch or, uh, or for continuous flow. I will click the main drop side because it is the best way to show to you all the inputs and capabilities that we can provide you. For this, we need, of course, the density and the viscosity of uh, the media. In our case, I will use a density of 1,000 kilogram per cube meter, and it can be Newtonian or non Newtonian media. In our case, I will use Newtonian media, and the viscosity will be one. It is the average one, it is including both phases. Uh, uh, After that, when we like to calculate the, the, the drop side, we will need to separate between the two pure uh, phases. Oil and, uh, now, the uh, software asked me now, give me more details about the device you are using. So you have the stator type, for instance, we have slot type, and the, uh, the, um, the internal eye that we have here will be, for instance, 170, and the external 190, the number of slots 36, the eye of the slot, let's say 150, and the width of the slot, five millimeters. So this you see, this is the width of the slot which is here. And the H2, the external one, you can see it here. This is this one. And the chamber, it is this one. Okay, so it is well defined. Now when we click OK, we have number of blades. This is for the stator, for the rotor, sorry. Number of blades, let's say we have four. And the internal, if I give a very big number, it gives me the maximum one. Now you click OK. We have to install the equipment in the bottom, in the top, uh, recycle, in like I will use it in the bottom of the tank because maybe it's equipment that I have ready. My equipment is 700 liter with one impeller and 60 minutes, 60 second mixing time that I was calculated with two So this is the macro mixing time to generate 1% non-homogeneity, we need to wait 60 seconds, and I calculated it with turbulent uh, this mix product. When I click OK, 
I need to provide some duration time. Let's say I apply 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes in this equation. I click OK. The software starts to calculate the important parameters. Really, what happened inside we calculate of the dynamic of the system, but now in order to calculate the drop size, we need to separate between the pure continuous flow, and let's say in our case will be water, from the per flow that is my oil with this viscosity density and this viscosity. And now the interfacial section it is 0 0.07, and I have strong emulsifier. I click OK calculating and give me that I will have around 96 mic micron drop size, the main drop size, and 100% of the media is passing there. We can calculate many other things, okay? Of course, we can calculate the drop distribution, and then we can calculate the, uh, the dynamic emulsification, how long it will need to take, 400 seconds it seems to be okay. Uh, and the, uh, what will be the non-emulsified non fraction of the dispersed phase? And you will see that nothing after nine minutes is really finished. So instead to install 15, maybe 10 minutes will be. But not only it can calculate, of course, the flow capability, the power required. We can calculate the shear rates that we apply, and we can calculate the homogenization time. So what will be the time required to generate homogenization in different levels from 95% to 99.99%. So you can see this is the number, this is the number that I told you for that, in order to generate stable situation. And uh, in this way, we cover mainly what we're able to do. When we click window uh, tile, I will get this picture and all the results are in front of me. And let's say we're happy with it, but we're going down. We want to do scale down because we're 300 liter. I want to, to check it in two liter liquid. So I click clone and give some name, let's say for the lab. And let's say that my, my equipment in the lab now uh, is a, play a rotor stator design. It will be more, I can do more energy, okay, more velocity. And now my equipment is 40, 41, and 45. Let's say 50. So this is the dimensions of my equipment, very small one. When you click OK. We need to give now what are the road, what is the stator. So my stator now in the internal I will be let's say 40, external will be 45, number of slot 80, and the eye of the slot, let's say 35, and the wizard slot one. This is my equipment. And the, the same method input, I can go to the rotor. The rotor has two blades only, no four, and the maximum I it will be four. I will click OK. Now this is my equipment ready to use. Of course, I need to install in my equipment. So uh, I need to uh, give some installation situation. And in my equipment, let's say I have it in the top of the tank. Okay. And uh, I have only two liter, and I have only one impeller, and my mixing time is, let's say, 10 seconds. Of course, if it is the situation, the batch duration uh, will be five minutes, right? Okay? Even no, four minutes can be the maximum because more than this is not uh, effective. Is if not, uh, is more than required. So when you click OK, it is ready to use. So you can do immediately to go to the uh, uh, batch emulsification, calculate the drop size. It's calculating for me, and it gives me 43 micro. 
if you remember what we had in the in the uh, production equipment in the 700 uh, uh, in the 700 equipment little equipment is like this and now we have like this so what to do in order to generate the same kind of work in the pilot in the lab go to the disperse design and reduce the velocity let's say to 5000 rpm now when you click okay it gives you 109, but it is very close to 96. And now plus minus 10%, we can do it uh, uh, in order to have uh, more. So 5,500, it gives me 101, it's 96. So it should be okay. Now, once I know it, okay, I can calculate all the other parameters, the power and the shear rate, and the uh, 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 homogenization, time required for homogenization, and all of this is in front of me. So I have equivalence between the equipment and the project. I can see all of them together, or I can generate reports for the batch emulsification for the lab. And by double click the color, I change the equipment to the production one and create the same report. Once we have the same report, we're able to open these reports in Excel. I'll show to you in a minute. Good, it will be production. Okay, and the, the point in Excel is uh, only to open, okay? In, uh, the lab equipment and in the uh, second page sheet, open the production equipment and have the data ready to use. Okay, I come here, you have the lab equipment. Okay. And in the second one, you have the production, the uh, production, and you can transport every data because you see every cell inside is the data. So you can compare, add columns, a normal Excel operation. So thank you very much for attend. It's briefly, you can do slope, step by step. I recommend to you, of course, to come to the website in application examples, case studies. This tutorial, uh, uh, when we talk about liquid liquid mixing emulsification, this example is the example that uh, uh, I open. Okay, we can do other examples. So thank you very much for attending. It was a pleasure for me. Bye bye.